And one result of Jakarta's transformation is having a particularly devastating impact on the people who live here. This city is sinking. The world is rapidly changing in a multitude of ways, and that includes our climate. Mother Nature is strong and ruthless, and she works in mysterious ways, but she may also be the reason we say goodbye to a few of our current major cities. With rising sea levels, sinking ground, and a variety of large storms, there are some places that may be underwater or unlivable sooner than we think. That is why on today's list, we are going to be diving into the top 10 major cities that will disappear in the next 50 years. What is up, top 10 fam? Welcome Welcome back to another video with me, your host today, Olivia Kozlowski. Let's not waste any more time and jump headfirst into this list. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have California. I know we're starting off with a state here rather than a city, but the whole state really is at risk. There was a time not too long ago where California was sitting pretty, enjoying themselves, while other places were beginning to see the effects of the rising sea levels, but that has all changed quite quickly. In the last 100 years, the sea level in California rose less than 9 inches, but by the end of this century, it could rise as much as 9 feet, which is a huge and rapid jump. With California mostly focusing on the wildfire and drought effects of climate change, which is of course just as imminent of a threat, it seems as though the threats of the rising rising sea levels are slipping through the cracks. The coastline is rapidly eroding, which puts anything even close to the shore at the greatest risk, not to mention places like Balboa Island, which are already barely above sea level as is, and are currently facing floods if the tide gets too high. While the shoreline was once the ideal spot to park a new, beautiful, multi-million dollar home in California, it seems like those who went more inland might have not only made a financially smarter decision, but also a climate smarter decision. In our number nine spot today, we have New York City. Oh, New York, New York. The Big Apple is unfortunately at risk due to the rising sea levels and things are not looking good. All coastal cities are in a dangerous position, but being on an island certainly exacerbates that issue. It is said that the sea level may rise four to eight inches over the next decade, and while this may not seem like a lot, a five foot rise would mean that places like LaGuardia Airport would be submersed, as well as large portions of Manhattan. And that's just what is possible possible in the next 50 years. It is said that by the year 2100, mostly all of New York will be underwater. Sadly, it is said that Queens is the New York borough that is going to be hit the hardest in the next few years, as it is the most at risk for flooding. It is said that as early as 2045, 7,200 residents of Queens could be faced with chronic flooding, which would lead to over $1.2 billion in property damage over the next 30 years. In our number 8 spot today, we have Miami. Beautiful Miami has been seeing the effects of rising sea levels for a while now, despite their best efforts to combat it. Sometimes Mother Nature is just too powerful. The city has been seen doing things like installing pumps and raising roads, and there currently is talks of how to go about raising the structures in the city, but unfortunately the city is rapidly disappearing. Other than the rising sea levels, Miami is at such a great risk because most of the city underground is built upon porous limestone, which allows water to just rise right up through it. And the other issue is of course the rising sea. It is said that Miami might see a water rise of somewhere from 10 to 30 feet by the end of the century, and it is also said that there is virtually no scenario where Miami will exist at the end of the century. That sure is grim. In our number 7 spot today, we have New Orleans. A NASA study found that New Orleans was sinking at a rate of around 2 inches per year. This may not seem like a lot, but it would be a lot to see a 2 inch change every decade, so considering this is every year, it is not a good situation. In in fact, some parts of the city are already 15 feet below sea level. The risk is only increased by the city's location on a river delta, which puts it at a higher risk for things like the rising sea and for flooding. Before, the wetlands would have provided some kind of shelter or shield from storm surges, but that has slowly been destroyed by humans, which leaves the city in an even more vulnerable position. It is said that by 2100, New Orleans will see the same fate as many other cities on this list today. In our number 6 spot today, we have London. London is a place that could be facing extreme flooding in just a short 30 years from now, especially in the southern parts of the city. The risk is so imminent that scientists have created an interactive map which shows which areas have the highest risk, along with their current predictions of what the years to come will look like for the city. The areas that currently have the highest risk are of course places around the Thames, which include things like Big Ben, the House of Parliament, the Tower of London, and King's College, as well as large portions of the city's underground subway system. I'm not sure how many people 
people in London rely on the subway every day, but here in Toronto, if parts of the subway became unusable, there would truly be chaos. Aside from rising sea levels, the threats include things like big storms and future erosion to the land as well. At our halfway mark today, we have Houston. Houston, Texas is unlike a lot of the others on this list today, as it is not a coastal city, and the rising sea level alone certainly isn't enough to cause it to disappear, but it is another one of those cities that is sinking at a rate of around two inches per year. The main reason for this is due to excessive groundwater pumping. This process leads to a change in pressure and volume, which in turn causes the land to sink. The sinking land only makes the city more susceptible to flooding, similar to what was experienced during Hurricane Harvey. Unfortunately, scientists are also only expecting an increase in storms and hurricanes, and that, coupled with the sinking land, is a perfectly horrible recipe for the city to be underwater sooner rather than later. In our number four spot today, we have Honolulu. This popular Hawaiian destination spot is one of the most at risk places of being submerged in water due to the rising sea levels. Honolulu is the capital of the Hawaiian state, and I mean, considering the entire state is made up of islands, all of Hawaii really is at stake here. Even a small rise in sea levels is noticed here, as it is estimated that as little as an inch of rising sea results in losing eight feet of shoreline. This is a massive issue as sea levels are predicted to rise several feet in the next decade alone. Two thirds of the Hawaiian population live on the island that is home to Honolulu, so it is obvious that this is going to cause a lot of major problems for the residents there. In our number three spot today, we have Alexandria. Alexandria is a Mediterranean port city that is located in Egypt, and it is the seventh largest city in Africa. The city is known for its historical value, as it is said to have been founded by Alexander the Great, and it was once connected to a small island called Pharos. Pharos is relevant because it once housed a lighthouse that was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This area is thought to have been extremely promising because of its coastal location, and it provided to be just that, as well as an important industrial center because of its natural gas and oil pipelines. But now, some of the things that once made it so enticing might be what brings it to its demise. The beaches of Alexandria have already been seen disappearing because of the rising sea levels. There have been estimations that the Mediterranean Sea will rise by around two feet by 2100. This may not be the largest sea level rise that we've talked about today, but considering the fact that this is an area where the rising sea has already affected those who reside there, who knows what two more feet will do. In our number two spot today, we have Lagos. Lagos, Nigeria is the home to over 24 million people, and it is also one of the most at-risk places due to the rising sea levels. The streets of the city are already often flooded, and the issue is only predicted to get worse. Because of climate change, the city is expected to see less rainfall overall, but more intense storms when it does rain, which is a major cause for concern, especially when coupled with the eroding coastline and rising seas. In a 2012 study from the University of Plymouth, it was said that a rising sea level of only three feet would have catastrophic effects on this region. This is a huge issue because global sea levels are expected to rise by at least four feet by the end of the century, which means that the issues Lagos is currently facing are only going to get worse if something isn't done and fast. In our number one spot today, we have Venice. Scientists have warned that if something doesn't change soon, Venice is on track to be completely submerged in water by 2100, and that is because the Mediterranean Sea is on the rise and is predicted to see a growth of over four feet in the next century, which would prove to be devastating to this coastal city. Not only has it been said for years that Venice is sinking, but the city has also been seeing an increase of some of the worst floods in history, which surely cannot be a good sign. Italy has been doing work to try and combat the frequent flooding by doing things like building flood barriers, but while they were supposed to be finished a decade ago, they still aren't done and Venice is seeing the effects of that delay. Not only is the city and its residents at risk, but the historical architecture of the city is also facing some troubles even now. During the worst time in the city for flooding, the water can sometimes be seen as high as four feet, which has left the city no choice but to build catwalks so that people can still get around the city without having to swim to work. All right guys, that has been our list for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video today and don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a little comment down below and maybe you'll be featured in a comment shout out portion that's to come in a later video. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye.